Arguably my favourite stand at the 2015 New York International Auto Show is this, the Alfa Romeo stand. When you've got a back catalogue as pretty as this, from everything from, well, the 8C behind me to the Type 33 over there through Darling, it's just, how could you not fall in love with the cars on this stand? Anyway, of course, we're here to look at what's, what's new. It was launched at the Geneva Motor Show, we didn't get time to do a video, so let's have a look at it now. This is the Alpha 4C Spider, and, well, it's a very pretty thing, which is just as well, given the, the beauty that is surrounding it. It's, uh, well, it's only 10 kilos heavier than the coupe, which is pretty impressive, but it's just got a fabric roof that you operate manually. You can also get a carbon hardtop for it, which I think should look pretty cool. <laughs> Elsewhere, well, mechanically, it's pretty much the same. So in the back, you've still got the 237 brake horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder, which is obviously still controversial. We still, we'd love to see a little V6, but that's not the philosophy behind it. You've still got the same carbon fiber monocoque underpinning the whole thing. It's going to be about £7,000 more than the coupe, so that takes it up to around about £52,000. And um, yeah, a Krapovic exhaust, this has just reminded me, as it's coming hooved into view here. Inside, well, we've got uh, a new Alpine head unit uh, with Bluetooth and all that sort of thing. And up front, the other big thing is the fact that the headlights have now changed to a single piece clear unit in, a, in place of the uh, sort of, I suppose, almost fly like carbon fibre units that were there before and were slightly controversial, possibly spoiled the looks a little bit. So there we go, 0 to 60 miles an hour, still 4.5 seconds, top speed 160 miles an hour, and looks that are absolutely to die for. Let us know what you think. Is this going to be a success in the marketplace? Do you like the philosophy of the 4C? Leave comments on the uh, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube pages as you see fit. I'm going to have a look at those again.